Hey everybody, welcome back to Diva Styles. I'm going to be doing um, a mock-up for the chip bag. This is the last chip bag that I made. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how I was able to come up with um, this chip bag mock-up. You know, mock-ups are great that you know to use for your shop when you don't want to have to like print this out, use your supplies, and all of that. It's just a great way to you know show people what you got. So, uh, first thing I did, I went to Google and typed in a chip bag mock-up, and I saved this image right here. Um, I have not used this image, but I'm going to see uh, if I can also create one using that image. So, right now, I am in Publisher. I'm just going to New, and I'm going to um, insert that image into this new you know, blank canvas, and we're pretty much going to do this from start to finish. So I'm going to go to insert, go to pictures, and let me just go to quick access because that will show me, you know, what I just recently saved. So here we go. So this is the image right here, and right now it does not have, let's insert another uh, picture. Let's get a background. Um. Let's go to my downloads. I should have had this already, y'all. See, that's my fault. Um, goodness, what would I use? Okay. Uh, goodness. See, this is why I like having the. Okay. Um, I'll use this brick thing right here. Okay. We'll just use this and yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's push this backwards. Okay, so let's click on this. Let's see if we can get rid of that white background by going to Format, uh, Recolor, and I'm going down to Set Transparent Color and click on the okay, the white image. Not a bad thing. Only thing I got to do is go to Insert, go to Shapes, put in a rectangle. And um, let's fill this up with white, no outline, and let's send it back. And there we go. That really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and merge. Goodness. Send this back. Okay, let me click on this. Now send that back. Now while that's clicked on, I'm going to hit Control. Click on that and group them together. So they are now um, one image. And you'll see why um, in a minute why I said that uh, this pretty much doesn't matter. Like it, nobody's going to see that. That does not matter. Now I'm just going to copy this and paste it because we are going to use this as the back. You can slant it or leave it straightforward, however you want. Um, now let's go back to our original chip bag. Now, this is just how I do it. You can do this any way that, you know, you choose. Um, what I do is I save this into uh, three different parts. I bring up my snipping tool, as you can see. Um, and let's go to new, for example. Um, I already saved it, but I'm just going to show you how I did it. Um, and I first save, you know, the front. That would be the front. And then, of course, I save it. And then I go to new. And then I save, you know, this side next. And then I go to new. And then I go ahead and I save this image over here as well. And save it. Okay, but I've already done it. Oh, no, I don't want to save it. So let's go over here to our blank template. Let's insert all of those images that we just saved of our, um, our chip bag. Okay, so... All right, I'm just going to add all these in here. That way I don't got to do it one by one. Okay, so here are our images over here to the side. This is the front, as you can see. And you guys, like, this is literally all that I do. <laughs> um, I crop the pink off. I take the pink off. That way it is just, um, you know, it's just this. 
and I'll add the pink on uh, at a later time. At a later time. At a, uh, you know, later on in the video. And I just go ahead and get that to, you know, the area that I like. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and copy that again. Uh, paste it. And then I go back to crop, which is going to bring up everything. And this time I would like the pink area. So I'm going to just go up to where the pink area is and save that. And then I'm going to add it. Uh, that is way too big. And then, as you can see, the chip bag is, you know, starting to take its, you know, shape, form, whatever. Um, this is just how I would, I've done it. Um, which is exactly how I got this one. Now, I will upload this right here to my Patreon page. So my Patreon um, members will get this uh, chip back template. And as you can see, if I move it, I did the exact same thing over here. There is no different, like, I did the exact same thing, except for um, this chip back template over here just doesn't have the huge gap right there but you guys i mean it's exactly it's exactly the same and then we come on over here and let's do the back uh yeah what do i want to do do i want to um yes i do want to crop this down and take the pink out once again And then because this one is slanted, let's go ahead and slant. And then pretty much all you're doing is getting this to, um, you know, the size that you pretty much want it. We're going to do the same for this. Now on the back, um, I do leave a space in the middle. Because, um, you know, when you put your chip bag together, there is that uh, that white line right there. So I do leave it like a, you know, a white line. That way they know that that's going to be there. Um, but, yeah, this is just um, how I do it because I don't use Photoshop. Don't know how to use Photoshop. And, yeah, really not interested. <laughs> so... This is just an easy way that I found out how to do it. I'm using Publisher, but you can do this exact same thing in um, Microsoft as well. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I hope this helps. Um, so, let's copy that, paste it, and then let's turn it just a little, not that much. You guys get the idea. Come on. This thing want to be difficult. Okay, so pretty much that is that's all I did, you guys. Like because you you know, like when you're doing mock-ups, you're trying to get something that looks realistic. Um so you want to get an image off of Google that kind of mimics a chip bag. And, uh, yeah, that was the one that I found. But there are many more. You know, there's that one, that. But I try to look for one that's got like a square um, body to it. This is the one we're using right here. You know, that has a square body to it that way. Uh, it's easy to just put your image over it the way that I did. Yeah, you can use like any of these and just put the image over it. Um, 
Yeah, so that's how I did it. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. And as always, I will see you guys very soon.